I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I've learned working with shamans over the last eight or nine years that I thought were either interesting or kind of strange, but worth mentioning. In 2014, I attempted to take my life and if it wasn't for Archangel Michael, I wouldn't be here. And after a nine month long drinking bender, I decided to quit drinking, start going to meditation, start working with energy healers and shamans. My life's turned into a paranormal circus since 2015. All kinds of visitations and out of body experiences and working with shamans and is what I've learned. First one's kind of well known, but for me in 2015, I had no idea about sage. And I was told that if you light sage, the smoke help clear negative energy. I found this out the very first time I used it. I started hyperventilating because I had so much shadow around me. I had other experiences when I was saging. I've heard spirit tell me, oh, you think you're so wise, don't you? So in my opinion, sage definitely clears negative energies from the house. You can also use San Paolo, which not only clears negative energy, but brings in more love and energy. Singing bowls, frequencies like 528, 432 can help clear negative energy from your house. Now, one thing I thought was kind of strange, however, I do it all the time now, is leaving offerings for your ancestors, also offerings on the land that your house is on to give thanks. My neighbors might be seeing me throwing chocolate around my yard every once in a while, wondering what the heck I'm doing. I remember the first time I made an offering in my backyard in all four directions, just giving thanks. I went to place this piece of chocolate down by the bush and it, it was nighttime and the whole bush started rattling. It was like there was a heron in there trying to fly off and I went running, you know. I, I was so freaked out after that, I started tossing from 20 feet away into the other corners of my yard. Now the next one's probably one of the strangest ones I've heard. And this, fellas won't be happy to hear, but you know, after 22 years of being with someone, I always wonder, you know, why, why is it such an issue for women to leave the toilet seat up, you know? We all know how hard it is to lift it up and then put it back down again. Especially when us guys just want to walk up to it, pee half the time, flush, walk away, come up, pee, flush, walk away. You know, lifting up that toilet seat can really be a delay in your day, right? Here's why women who are more naturally in tune close the toilet lid. And that is because according to the shamans that I've worked with, when you flush the toilet and leave the seat up, good energy, energy of abundance goes down the toilet. So. After you're done going to the washroom, close the lid and then flush the toilet. I didn't make it up. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. This is what I've been told. Kind of strange, right? Mirrors in your house are portals. Fairies are real. When someone thinks about you in a negative way, they're actually sending negative energy your way that affects you. Finding your house with salt will help protect it from negative energies. Using plant medicines, not all hocus pocus. Your eyes normally oscillate at 30 frames per second and taking things such as mushrooms will help our eyes oscillate at 60 frames per second so we see more light, more of reality. Everything is consciousness. The trees, if you talk to it, it hears you. The table, if you talk to it, it hears you. Your PlayStation, if you talk to it, it hears you. Now, one of the craziest things that I've learned working with shamans is that there's quite a few people out there that can not only hear your thoughts, but can read your energy, tell you when you went to the washroom the last time, you know, what you were doing the day before. I've actually, you know, the last couple situationships that I've had, these women have had this ability. And if you think regular women are scary, man, you should try dating women that can hear your thoughts and uh, see what you were doing last night. Woo, that's a whole nother level of crazy, but uh, these are just some of the strange things I've learned working with shamans. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.